Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm an engineer at Nevada Nano. Today I will demonstrate the MPS flammable gas sensor performance compared to a polyester when exposed to high concentrations of flammable gases. Both sensors are calibrated to 50% allyl methane for this test. The MPS is calibrated once in the factory and does not require recalibration for the full lifetime of the sensor. The polyester was calibrated just prior to this demonstration. In this demonstration, we will characterize the effects of prolonged exposure to high concentrations of flammable gases. Both sensor types will be exposed to about 10% by volume hydrogen, which corresponds to 250% LEL. In this demonstration, both sensors will be under a gas mask with a gasket to minimize dead volume and gas leakage over the top of both sensors. Both sensors are operating in air. I'll start by exposing both sensors to 50% LEL methane before beginning the hydrogen exposure to record the starting response. Now I'll start flowing hydrogen at 10% volume. The graph on screen shows the sensor output over 3 hours and 20 minutes. The MPS reports that the concentration is over range and over 110% LEL as expected. The polyester output ranges from 130 to 190% LEL. This polyester is equipped with a safety circuit to prevent an overvoltage condition. Without overvoltage protection, the heat generated from the catalytic reaction with a high concentration of gas would be enough to completely burn up the polyester and render it unusable. After 3 hours and 20 minutes of hydrogen, I'll flow air to remove any flammable gas. The baseline on the polyester has shifted down to minus 20% LEL, indicating damage to the polyester. The MPS has recovered and outputs 0% LEL. Even though this polyester is equipped with the safety circuit, the large concentration of hydrogen causes a baseline shift and reduced sensor response. The MPS is not affected by the large concentration of hydrogen whatsoever. To show the signal suppression from overexposure on the polyester, I'll now flow 50% LEL methane over both sensors. When I first start to flow the methane over the MPS, you'll notice that the sensor reports an ID of hydrogen mixture. This is due to a small amount of remaining hydrogen in the line mixing with methane. Once all the hydrogen is cleared, the sensor reports an ID of methane and accurately reports the concentration. Now that the response is stabilized, we see that the polyester reports 19% LEL, which is 31% under the true concentration of 50% LEL. We've collected some data from an earlier run of this test showing that the polyester underestimated the methane concentration for the 1 hour, 2 hour, and 3 hour bump tests. The baseline didn't recover from about minus 15% LEL until 5 hours had passed and the baseline was still reading minus 5% LEL two days later. Without recalibration, the sensor would continue to underreport the percent LEL levels for all gases. Thank you for watching this demonstration. For more information about the MPS flammable gas sensor and other MPS sensors, please visit nevadanano.com or email info at nevadanano.com.